Hello everyone, this is TechBizmo, and welcome back to another video. In this video, everyone, I'm going to be taking a review of Ubuntu Budgie. So yeah, guys, let's go ahead and get started. So as you can see, we are in Ubuntu Budgie on the lock screen. So let's go ahead and just type in my password, and we'll wait for that to load. So... Uh, yeah, Ubuntu Budgie, uh, of course, it is described by its name is just Ubuntu with the Budgie desktop environment, which it's it's a very nice uh, distribution. I've I've explored around it a little bit, and so far I've liked it. Um, <clears throat> so yeah, let's go ahead and get started with this review. So the first thing that we're going to be looking at is, of course, this welcome screen. So you know, the getting started screen right here. So what it says is Budgie Welcome. That's the name of the window. So the options we have here is post installation, that is a area and fam familiarity, um, troubleshooting, um, all three of those. Um, and we and in uh, post installation, we've got updates and extras, drivers, language and input, optional tasks, uh, and in familiarity, <laughs> uh, custom we've got customization, uh, browser ballot. Uh, keyboard shortcuts and in troubleshooting we've got system specifications so in system specifications I believe uh, yep this is going to say my actual system specifications as you know described um, so yeah it is a Core i7 as you can see there uh, clocked to 2.9 gigahertz we got some access to that right here uh, Ubuntu Budgie was actually going to be another option for a distro I was going to switch to if um, if I if I like this distro I'm going to as I do this review I'm going to see if I like this distro and if I do then I will I, I will possibly be switching to it but uh, that's only if I don't like uh, Linux Mint XFCE because I am still uh, currently on Linux Mint Cinnamon because you know um, I haven't really, uh, I haven't really gotten the chance to uh, try out um, XFCE yet. I mean, I have tried it previously, but I liked it um, when I tried it. Um, so down when you scroll down, scroll down to the uh, the uh, specifications, uh, your computer specifications, you got stuff like your storage and components and stuff. Um, so yeah. All right, so we can go ahead and have a look into the um, customization right here. So you just got some of these right here and then you click on your settings, which uh, we're not going to look at yet. So I'll just go ahead and minimize that. Um, yeah, I'm not going to bother to look at all of these. Let's go ahead and just look at, let's do drivers. So you got, you got that right there. Um, and proprietary or on source drivers. Um, and I believe, is this your software center? No. It's your software updater. I apologize, guys. I've got hiccups. <laughs> yeah, there's a there's a quick little look at the start screen. So, I guess we're done with that now. Uh, remind me later. Uh, so, yeah. Uh, basically, I'm going to tell you guys something really quick. So, I was going to choose between Ubuntu Budgie, uh, Linux Mint XFCE, or um, or stay with Linux Mint Cinnamon. And so far, I think. I think right now I'm just going to stay with Linux Mint Cinnamon and, you know, if I feel the need to, to try a different distro or switch, um, then I will do that because I've tried uh, XFCE, Linux Mint XFCE and uh, Ubuntu Budgie and I love them both. Um, so, yeah. Um, the next thing that we are going to be looking at, I guess we can look at this right here which, uh, you know, is, of course, your time. So you got time and date settings and calendar, and calendar's pretty nice. You click on that, and then it opens up to a big calendar. So, you know, if you're in, if you got bad eyes or something, you can click on that and <laughs> look at your, look at your dates. Um, you could also go ahead and add a, add an, a, add a event. So I could do something like record video, uh, not video just like that I could do personal or you know I don't know what else I could do but I could do that and then uh, I've just I could just open up my calendar or I think it might pop up when the next time you open up your computer on that date so we'll go ahead and delete that event uh, yeah but, but yeah there's also you know as you saw there let me actually <laughs> we'll just do that um, and if we do this we got some options like we can change the title um, to TechBizmo, uh, 200 subscri subscriber special. I could do something like that if I want. Um, 
So yeah, you got like stuff like repeat, uh, you know, I can do weekly, monthly, yearly, something like that. Um, and then add reminder and stuff. So that's pretty cool. But we'll go ahead and delete that. But yeah, uh, if you guys did no did not notice, I did re I did get to uh, 200 subscribers. So I thank you guys very much for 200 subscribers. I really, <laughs> it's, 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 it's not much of an accomplishment for me because, you know, I don't really care about having views and subscribers and stuff because I just do the subscribe, the, I just do YouTube for the fun and, you know, for the community, the friends I made and stuff. So yeah. Um, so next thing I guess we can look at is this menu right here. So this is a very nice little, you know, uh, just, you know, very flat themed uh, menu. I love their theming with uh, with Budgie. So, you got some stuff like all accessories, games, graphics, internet, office, science, sound and video, system tools, administration, preferences, and utilities. So, we'll go ahead and just go down, look at some of these applications in all. So, this is just going to show you all your applications and accessories, games, graphics so yeah you can just pause these the video as i as i go along office as you see you got some of your library um things library office math that stuff system tools administration uh preferences we'll just actually go up so there you got that there and utilities you got there so next thing we can go ahead and look at is the software. So the, this software is the, you know, main, uh, typical, your everyday typical GNOME software center, because it is the GNOME software center. Um, however, they have uh, decided to put it into Ubuntu Budgie since Ubuntu did uh, start to use the GNOME software center. Since, you know, Ubuntu did switch over to, you know, the main uh, Ubuntu distribution did decide to switch over to using GNOME. So they did pick up... Um, of the idea of using GNOME Software Center as well. So in here, of course, you got stuff like Caden Live. We can go ahead and look in there. Um, you got that right there. Uh, let's see what else we got. Uh, maybe Scratch. Do we got that? Nope, doesn't look like we got Scratch, but that is fine uh, because you know to install Scratch, it's just sudo apt install Scratch, I believe. Uh, you know, maybe you'll have to add a repository, but we'll see. You got, you got mine test in here. <laughs> so, yeah, you got some of your, your games, you know, Super Tux Cart. You got that right there if you want it. Um, got some of your installed applications right there. Shows all your installed applications, which is very nice. I like that. So, I guess that's a good, good little review of the software center. We got editors picks down here and you know, some of your categories, or, you know, other words, in other words, genre, um, yeah, so, uh, let me see, we got Budgie Welcome, we can go ahead and look into the files, I'm not sure what type of file manager this uses, but, uh, hopefully we'll be able to find out, uh, in the future, um, you know, maybe it uses Dolphin, maybe it uses Nemo, but I'm, I'm not sure. I'm not, you know, a big, a, I'm not a big looker into that, into that sort of stuff. So, in here, you've got your, your, you know, everyday, typical, um, directories. You got recent, home, desktop, documents, downloads, music, pictures, videos, and trash. So, as I said in my, in my, in my, uh, Kubuntu review, if, if, you know, things, things don't, don't work out then that's where it's gonna end up so yeah it's very nice uh the next thing we are going to look at is this right here which is your you know w i like to call it the system tray since i used to be a big windows user um see i still call it the system tray and then right here you know uh the task bar and <laughs> but you know I i've gotten used to to calling this panel but not not this i still call this the system tray um, so right here you got stuff like let's see what that is. Is that caffeine? I don't know what that is. <laughs> uh, here's your internet connection, um, night light. So I guess that's you know like uh, you know some kind of blue light shield. Um, cool. You got a quick little access here to your uh, to your directory. So this is one of the main reasons why I like 
why I like uh, a, some certain distributions because I like being able to just click on here and go to the directories that I that I need because I just I always need that I'm always in a hurry and you know need to need to do that so yeah and you got your notifications uh, your battery you know if you got a laptop or a desktop with a battery um, audio you can go ahead and change your audio settings sound settings right there um, so yeah but we're not going to look at the settings just yet so you also got power so you got a couple a couple options right there like log out lock suspend hibernate restart and shut down and um yeah yeah that right there <clears throat> yeah some applets applets and notifications so that's very nice all right so the next thing we are going to be looking at i bet a lot of you have been waiting for this is the settings so we'll just go ahead and go to settings and just have a quick look at these. So, first one is Wi-Fi, and then you got Bluetooth. Uh, but since this is a virtual box, it's you know not that sort of stuff. It doesn't show that stuff. Background. When when in reality, I actually do have a Wi-Fi chip and a Bluetooth chip. Uh, background notifications. So you can go ahead and do notifications pop up disabled. Uh, does it show like a? No, it doesn't show a um, little preview. Um, search region and language, universal access, online accounts, so I could go ahead and put in my Google account, um, I could put in my Microsoft account, which I haven't used in forever, <laughs> um, privacy, so screen lock on, that sort of stuff, screen sharing, or not screen sharing, sharing, uh, so yeah, I believe you can go ahead and change your name right there if you want your computer name. Okay, good, it went back. Um, then sound. <clears throat> so, yeah, it's going to say no amplifier. Uh, or maybe, oh, I guess it does work with my sound card. Um, there's my mic. Da 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 da. Ah. Ah. <laughs> I love how the, um, it scales my voice. That's, I just love, I just love it when, when Linux does that. You know, hey, Microsoft, yes, Windows 2, but I, I'm just saying Linux does it very satisfying, in a very satisfying way. You can change the uh, volume of your mic if you want, ah, la, 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 ah, <laughs> so yeah, um, and power, <clears throat> blank screen, we can change the time of the, when to go to blank screen, we got Wacom tablet, devices, <clears throat> so you got printers, keyboard, mouse, and touchpad displays, removable media and color which we'll go ahead and turn that and close that out the next thing that we can go ahead and look at is the terminal so the terminal is called Tilix is that what it's called Tilix I guess so sudo apt um, install Kden live and of course typing too fast to fail at my password um, yeah, this is an Ubuntu-based distro, since it's, you know, no, no dir, it's, it's called Ubuntu Budgie, um, but yeah, I, I like Ubuntu-based distros, uh, Ubuntu-based distros have always, have most of the time been my favorite, I also like, uh, Fedora-based distros, because I like, I like the DNF, uh, package manager in the terminal, because, you know, you rarely ever have to add a repository, but, you know, in, in apt, I will admit, it is a completely different story, you have to add repositories, you know, more than 75% of the time, I'd say. Um, but it's not too much of a, of a hassle, too much of a problem to get through when you're dealing with, a, with Linux because, you know, Linux is simple, getting a repository is simple. Uh, you know, you just have to look it up. Or you, I, believe, I believe to get a repository, you can just do some kind of search in the terminal uh, to check all repositories. So, um, you know, why did I install KLive in a virtual box? <laughs> um, yeah, uh, um, yeah. There's a quick little preview of the uh, terminal, so we'll wait for that to finish. Actually, while while we're waiting for that, we got Rhythm Box as their default player. Yeah, sorry, I am a little sick. Um, all right. Um, we could go ahead and look at Chromium. Chromium is actually um, it's my second main web browser, or no, third main web browser, because you know I I I vary between um. It varies between, you know, 
uh, what, what, what I want to use at the time because sometimes I want to use Chromium, sometimes I want to use Firefox, sometimes I want to use Waterfox. Most of the time I use Waterfox actually. Um, when, I'm not rec when I'm recording, I most of the time use Firefox and Chromium. However, I, do, I use Waterfox when I'm, when I'm off camera and not recording. But yeah, this is going to take a while, so we'll just close that out actually. I don't want to cancel it, you know. <laughs> don't be mean to the terminal. Um, and uh, yeah, so there's some of your applications there. I guess we could go ahead and start off by uh, go and look at our calculator because I forgot to look at it in Kubuntu. No, I forgot to look at the calculator in Kubuntu, I think. Um, but I'm not sure. But yeah, basic mode, advanced mode, um, financial mode, programming mode. So yeah, you got... Yeah, binary code equals. <laughs> I guess that's binary, but I don't know. Radians. Oh, so do I just type? Hello there. This is Tech Bismo, and whoops, and welcome back to a another video and a little smiley face. We'll actually practice my typing in a uh, LibreOffice. Um, so LibreOffice, we got our favorite uh, writer right there, LibreOffice 5. Hello world, this is Tech Bismo. And today I will be reviewing um, Ubuntu 17.10 with the Budgie desktop environment envir ah! environment. A little smiley face, another little smiley face. Um, Here we go. <laughs> so, <laughs> I guess we'll paste this in the description. <laughs> that's it. That's finished. So, sudo apt install scratch. Nope. I'm assuming there's a space between, but could be wrong. <laughs> but we'll do now. I don't want to wait for that. So, we'll just abort that. Um, so, yeah, this is very cool. You can go and go. Um, TechBizmo directory, and it, you know, of course it's going to load a lot faster on your actual computer, but since this is in a, in a uh, virtual box, it's going to load a lot slower. So you got downloads and all your basic directories, but uh, yeah, I, I was actually, before this video, thinking of switching to Ubuntu Budgie, but we'll see how it goes. So, um, yeah, I guess let me know in the comments below what you thought about my review of, my full review of um, Ubuntu Budgie. Uh, it is a very nice distro. I will leave a link in the description to download it. Uh, it does use the Plank, uh, um, the Plank, um, thingy, <laughs> doc, Plank doc. So, yeah, that's pretty cool. Well, anyway, guys, that is, I guess, I guess it's time to wrap this video up. So let me know in the comments below, as I said, let me know in the comments below what you thought about this review. And, uh, you know, leave any recommendations for another distro. I'm actually thinking of reviewing uh, Linux Mint uh, XFCE uh, soon after this video. Maybe, like, later today or something or tomorrow. You know, whatever, whatever is a, you know, appropriate time for me to review a distro. But anyway, guys, that is it. I hope you all enjoyed this lovely, I say lovely, stupid little video. Um... But as I said, it's the end of this video now. I hope you all enjoyed. Let me know in the comments below what you thought. And comment, like, and subscribe, comment, like, and subscribe for more videos. And I will catch you in the next one. Goodbye.